Today we are going to show you how to set up your USB mixer for podcasting and recording. In this video we will be using the Rockville RockMix 5 mixer, but the steps described will work for most USB mixers. Let's get started. Step 1. The first thing you're going to need besides your mixer is a computer and a digital audio workstation program. There are many digital audio workstations or DAWs, some are free and some you have to pay for, but these programs are what allows you to record what's coming into your mixer into your computer for playback and upload. So on Mac computers, GarageBand is a free DAW and you can use that for recording. And on Windows, a free DAW you can use is Audacity. Those are the two DAWs we'll be focusing on today. Okay, so step two is after you've chosen your digital audio workstation, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna wanna plug in your mixer to a USB port on your computer. You should see the power illuminate on your mixer to let you know it's getting power from your computer. Step three, once your mixer is plugged into the computer, we have to set the DAWs inputs and outputs or IOs to be that of the mixers. Now this could sound complicated, but in most DAWs, once you plug in the mixer, it will automatically recognize the interface and give you a prompt to use that mixer as the input and output of the DAW. But if it does not, you can go to your audio settings in your DAW and select the mixer as your input and then also as your output and then click apply to save the changes. On GarageBand, that looks like this. And on Audacity, that looks like this. One thing to note is that if you are using Pro Tools as your digital audio workstation, Pro Tools might not recognize the interface unless you create an aggregate I.O., which you have to do by going into the audio MIDI setup and selecting the inputs and outputs of the mixer there, and then we can rename it Rock Mix 5, and then you're good to go in Pro Tools for your I.O. Step four. Okay, so now we have the mixer communicating with your computer. The next step is to plug in a microphone. Now, if you are using a condenser mic, remember it needs fan and power, so make sure you have 48 volts turned on. And if you are using a dynamic mic, you don't need phantom power. Remember to use a sturdy mic stand so you don't get any mic noise in your recordings. We are using the RCM Pro and the RDMS 6 for this demo. Now on the Rock Mix 5 specifically, you can plug in two mics if you use a female XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable and then plug in the mic over here. The volume for both mics will still get controlled by the gain knob on channel one. Step five. Once you have all your mics set up, you wanna create two channels in your digital audio workstation so that you can record the left and right stereo of everything coming out of the mixer. Once you have those channels created, you are going to set the input of channel one to input one and the input of channel two to input two. Channel one will be our right channel and channel two will be our left channel. If you have set the channels correctly to the right input, you should see level coming in on the channels when you talk into the microphone. Now, if you hit the record button, it'll actually be recording everything that is going through the mixer, including your voice through the microphone. Step six. So since this mixer and most USB mixers are always recording everything that's coming through the mixer, we can get creative in how we use the remaining inputs on the mixer for a podcast or interview recording. For example, I can use the line in RCA inputs at the top to plug in an iPad with background music or sound effects. Or I can even use that same line in or two track input to connect my phone and answer phone calls for call in style interviews or podcasts. Once you figure out what you need for your own unique podcast or recording, you can route everything into the mixer and then record it for playback in your digital audio workstation. Step seven, the last thing you wanna have set up for during recording and then after when you wanna listen back is your headphones. On the Rock Mix 5, there's actually a headphone jack that you can plug directly into so you can hear yourself. Now, if you're doing a a two person podcast, you can get a TRS Y cable so you can plug in two headphones to this jack. And if you need more headphones than that, you could get something like our RHPA 4 headphone amp and use four to eight headphones. And that's basically it. Hopefully, this video helped you understand everything you need to do to properly set up your USB mixer. If you guys have any questions, you can always email or call us. Until next time, guys, we'll see you there.